Hey guys, I'm wet because I showered and I forgot my towel. So I put on my clothes and ran upstairs. Okay, so I'm doing an outfit change. Uh, these are my spring cleaning. Actually, this is cleaning in general clothes, right? So I'm actually gonna change to this right now. I'm literally in a freaking hurry because I left my shit for the last minute. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering what I'm getting ready for, I'm getting ready to go back to the club again even though I said for like the thousandth time that I'm never going back to dancing <sighs> my life literally my life is okay so it is hot as fuck today and I am speeding up so let me start spraying my hair with this um anti-dandruff conditioner spray uh basically it prevents itching and stuff and um yeah, it's only gonna be this one week before I take it off. It's already, it's already looking a bit um messy and stuff like that. And I'm not really good when it comes to taking care of my braids. Well, usually I am, but these are goddess braids, right? And the curls just went away really quick. So I'm just rocking my hair tied up for now. Ow, I fucking broke my nail. <laughs> Damn, why, 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 why? Okay, so I'm pretty sure the question is, Evie, why did you decide to go back to dancing when you literally said that you were never gonna do that shit ever again? So it's a really long story, right? So basically, well, not that long. Basically, I'm talking to this new guy and I did mention to him because I like to disclose my life, my past life to people I'm talking to because, you know, my life is kind of different. Like, hey, I used to be a dancer. Hey, I used to have this page. Hey, you know, all of that stuff. And then he actually found it pretty interesting. And he was like, okay, cool. Do you ever think of going back again and all of that stuff? And he was like, you know, very supportive of it. So I was like, oh, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going back. But I, I am thinking of going and taking pole dance lessons and whatever. And so pole dance lessons is on my bucket list, right? So ever since I've just like started chatting with him i guess like the the idea of like going back to dancing came really came back not because i'm talking to this guy and he's like interested in like a dancer it's because it's not giving off that feel it's because i was like damn i'm looking for a reason to go back but at the same time not because i love pole dancing even though i'm not really good at it but i just i was like let me take a freaking class where am i going with this Anyway, so I do some Google research, right? And I find some pole classes near me. I go to a drive with my siblings and I find a pole class in Warren Township. So I was like, okay, let me see. And before entering, all I heard was five, six, seven, eight. Woo, yeah, okay, girls. And I was like, yeah, this is a place for me. Where do I sign up? I was like, damn, the amount of hype and love that I can feel. And I didn't even, I barely entered, like, because it had like a hall at the beginning and then i guess like the back room is where you dance and stuff and i just grabbed the flyer and i'm like when i got home i was like girl i'm gonna sign up i still have not signed up and i keep thinking that i'm going to sign up i just need my main jobs paycheck to come in so i can sign up there do they do have a two-week trial which i'm gonna do before officially committing where was i yeah so two week trial two week trial before officially committing again Evie, where does, what does that have to do with the fact that you're going today? So, I keep thinking to myself, am I really going to pay to do pole dance when I, when I literally was paid to do pole dance? So then I was like, hmm, like it just kept being in my mind. I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw that one of, not my regulars, I would say, but he showed up to the club and he knew me and stuff because he sold um well he still sells dancer clothes and i was like hey you know all of that stuff and i saw that he posted a, a club that they were hiring so i was like oh i always wanted to work in that area because you know up north is more uh, money supposedly and shit like that so i was like oh hey how um how do i apply well not that i apply like hey um when's a good day to come in for an audition or uh who do i speak to for management and stuff like that he was like oh i i run the club uh you're in can you start tomorrow and i was like damn that's that's too soon but oh 
I was like, okay, um, let me see what I can do and whatever. So then I was thinking about it and I was like, damn, I was just looking. I, I wasn't actually really serious. But then I thought about it. I tried on my heels and I was like, you know what? This is a new experience, not the dancing, but going to Patterson up north to work. I just really hope I don't get shot. But it's okay, because in the city that I live in, I can still get risk getting shot. So I can either get shot here or get shot there. It don't matter. I mean, it does matter, but either way. When I tell you I'm nervous as hell, and it's not because of the girls, the club, it's just finding parking, because I saw that outside it doesn't look like there's parking and stuff. And I'm worried about who's gonna walk you to my car. I'm worried about like the safety for the dancers. And I trust this guy, right? I do trust him because um, he sells clothes to dancers. He literally, he and like the way that I know him, he, he really cares about the girls, you know? So that's why I'm like, okay, I gotta trust this dude and I gotta trust myself too and I gotta trust the area and whatever. But I'm still fucking nervous. By the way, this is my favorite blush. It's the NYX Sweet Cheek, Cheek Almost famous, famous color. I don't know if that's the color, but it's like an orangey color. And like I've tried all of the blushes on my skin and the one that I'm loving is just like an orange color because it gives like a summer vibe to me i don't know but it gives like a summer color to my skin i don't wear any type of makeup besides mascara and blush and it's not because like oh i'm trying to be that girl i used to wear full face of makeup for those who know me i used to do makeup like that but i think as i got older i got lazier and lazier and it's not even about like oh i don't need all of that makeup like bro i'd be watching and seeing foundation and all that stuff and i missed it but i just got so lazy recently i think I don't think I'll ever go back to doing it. I, like right now, I'm even looking on Google about the prices for people to come in and clean my room and clean my bathroom and my kitchen and shit like that. I'm like, yo, how much? Because I really do not want to do chores. I think I hate doing stuff in general. Like not even lashes. I'm not putting that on. Like men are, I'm sorry, men, if you're watching this, but you're so very simple. Like I've noticed, I've seen girls go to the club without makeup, like with, weird ass hair and they still leave making money and then meanwhile i'll have all my makeup and my stuff like that I'm, there's some days where i leave without any money so i'm like and some the days where i go without makeup or sometimes the days that i make more money so i'm like yo hold up hold up i don't even gotta fucking try i think i fucking stink and i still left with money so so this is a funny but not so really funny story right today i went to do laundry I do that I do my laundry every other Sunday because I don't waste a lot of clothes and today what did I find in my laundry basket oh we are all adults here so um just letting you know in case you are not mature do not continue listening um what did I find in my laundry basket my vibrator bro when I tell you I'm here taking out my clothes oh shit out of the out of the freaking basket and when i see that oh my god bro like it's the tiniest thing ever it is because it's just a vibrator chica that shit looks it looked like a giant dildo to me in that basket i felt like everybody was staring at my basket bro and i was like oh my god how do i take this out of my basket without people noticing that it's a vibrator so I was, I was just there looking at it, staring at it. I was like, hold the fuck up. How do I put this in my bag, like, discreetly? What I did, I just, like, grabbed the bag and put it on top. But it still was a little bit awkward to reach out to it. So then I, I grabbed, like, some of my dirty clothes, wrapped it around, put it into my bag, took out the clothes from my bag, and put it back into that little um, laundry thing. With, like, the washer, yeah. I swear to God, why do embarrassing things happen to me all the fucking time? so i'm only wearing mascara and lipstick but be, keep in mind that some clubs are very strict about makeup like they want you to do your makeup they want you to have foundation and all of that stuff and i don't know how this club is like even though i know the guy who runs it like i don't personally know him but i have I've like you know i've talked to him before and stuff i don't know what the club environment is like because if you keep in mind that everything is so freaking different Tell me why I posted it. Like they made, he made a, a poster of me, right? I, I guess he made a poster for everybody that's dancing. Bro, 
I was like, I, like I was nervous, and I was like, it's okay if I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And you know, no, this man made a poster, and now I'm like, ah, fuck, now it has to go. Like, there's no way I can like back the hell out. So then I shared it on my Instagram, and everybody who knows me was like, oh my god, you're back to dancing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> please stop with the questions. Like, I'm like, damn. So I live in Central Jersey, right? Okay, I live in Central Jersey. Patterson is an hour away from me. So that means I have to drive an hour over there. And, and, the club ends at 3.30 or 3 a.m. One of those times, right? I have to drive back home and arrive home like at 4 a.m. Then I have my real job. Well, not my real job. Like, you know, because, you know, this is a real job too. But I have my main job, my full-time job at 9 in the morning. And my eyelash is crooked. Oh, fuck. Do you guys want to know something? I'm on my period. And so I have a super tampon in. And I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm wondering if I should just take out my braids for like for tomorrow morning. I say this every single time I do a uh, get ready with me, please. Okay, um, I am not an expert at edges. Please. I had someone conf not confront me, but like make fun of me the other day. Oh, this was my friend. He was like, so your edges, huh? And I was like, boy, shut up. <laughs> I'm feeling cute. I'm currently wearing an outfit under, so let's pack my bag. Okay, so this is a very, 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 very important rule. Never put on lotion at the club. Like, no, let nobody spot you putting on lotion. But please be aware that I am very dark. I am a colored woman, and I get ashy. White girls, you yeah, probably get ashy, but not as much as me. So I'm putting on the lotion. And between now and when I arrive there, right, the lotion is going to dry. Do not put on oil, like very oil-based lotion. I did that mistake once, right? Because that lotion, I don't know, smelled really good. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. It never dried. It was very moisturizing. It never dried, made the stage very slippery. And I had girls confront me. Now, I'm not afraid of no girls. You could talk to me, whatever, that's fine. But when management talks to me, management keeps a lookout for you, you know? I'm gonna put on my favorite perfume, which is this Body Col Oncology, Body Oncology, Body Oncology, Cozy Fire. So it's more, it's very, very delicious. I'm talking about it like if I eat it. No, it's very smelling. Ah! <laughs> it's very it smells very good everybody always compliments me on this perfume like everybody boys girls everybody and i got it from walmart cheap as fuck side profile side profile close up in this very um suitcase right not this Ugh, it has my stripper bag let me take it out i'm freaking out Unless I threw it away, then that's then I'm fucked. Ah, shit, let's try this one. Okay, it's right here. You guys remember this bag? Yeah, this bag right here. Taking my comfiest shoes, by the way. I'm also taking a pair of sweats because after, like, you know, the sh whole night shift, it's going to get cold at night. Right now, it's hot as fuck, but we need it. I'm also taking two pairs of boots. These are the ones that I like to use to dance, but these I'm having a feeling that these are low-key breaking, so I'm going to take these as well, which are also low-key broken. I got to buy my new pairs of heels. Bag right here is going to be my money bag. <laughs> Wallet and my keys are going. Reason is, oh, my taser as well. Reason is I'm keeping it separate is because um, I don't trust the girls at this club yet because I haven't met them yet, so I'm not going to leave my important stuff in my bag. Super duper duper behind right now, so if you guys want, I can definitely do a what's in my bag video so I can like show you what i'm usually carrying um but right now i showed you the most essential which is that and i'm wearing two more outfits i'm already putting or wearing one right now important to stay hydrated i don't know what are the water rules in this club i mean i hope they gave they give me free water but in case they don't i'm packing it i have an issue i don't know where my keys are 
and obviously i need to go back home at three in the morning so now i'm like damn guys i just did the most awkwardest thing i left my house with like a huge ass bag and i'm in booty shorts and i like saw my dad on the way and i was like hello and he looked at me he blinked he sighed and continued walking i'm like damn <laughs> okay i'm on my way and i'm fucking nervous uh, i can't show you my fit but it's nice it is it is 2 a.m 1 a.m it's not bad in here though it's not bad it's pretty good i'm vibing okay guys so it's 2 42 a.m and i am going home today was okay a decent day you know um at least i mean it was good but it wasn't bad but at least i made something you know so i like the club i like the vibes i'm definitely coming back